Hello Bison Nation, this is Dave Cicchini, head football coach, and it is game week. Towson, 6 p.m. in Christy Mathewson Memorial Stadium. It's here. It seems like it's been a while since the conclusion of the 2021 season, but we are ready to go, and I've got two of my captains here, John Searcy and Ethan Pitzel. We'll start with you, John. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Jonathan Searcy. I'm a senior uh, safety from Medford, New Jersey. Um, I'm an econ major, and I'm excited for the season. My name is Ethan Pitzel. I'm a junior offensive lineman from Solon, Ohio. I'm a finance major, and I'm ready to kick it off this weekend on Saturday. All right. So looking at how things have been going, we've been in camp since August 3rd, and we've had almost 25 practices to get prepared and ready for this moment. Uh, John, you want to talk about how things are going on the defensive yeah. side of the ball? So definitely excited. we got a new defensive coordinator, Coach Bowers, this year. Um, defense hasn't changed too much in regards to scheme, uh, just, just the way everybody's, you know, Practicing, I think we're more emphasized on running the ball this year. We're definitely a tougher team. We're definitely a more fit team, and depth this year is a big thing. I know last year, um, I don't talk about the injuries as much, but we have a deeper team. Everybody can play. I'm confident one, twos, and threes, and we're just excited to go this Saturday. So Obviously a veteran group on defense with a lot of starters back, a lot of senior leadership. That's what has me really excited. Uh, Ethan, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, still a little bit younger than on defense, but still an awful lot of experience coming back as well. Yeah, for sure. I think we got a, a lot of guys back from last year that kind of took that next step forward in this past offseason and are ready to take, a, take on a greater role than they had last year. And I think we're just overall excited with the development of the group. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. The really exciting for us is uh, we have had a very healthy preseason camp. Uh, our injuries have been very minimal. Uh, we have not lost a single player out for the year. Unfortunately, that was not the case a year ago at this time, so we are uh, ready and raring to go. Uh, in terms of Towson, they're coming off a 4-7 and seven season. A little bit of a Jekyll and Hyde team. They, they beat a, a great team in Rhode Island, 28-7 uh, in the middle of the season that was ranked almost, I believe, in the top 10 or so. Uh, and that's, you know, so when they're good, they're really good. When they're bad, uh, they've been uh, blown out by a couple of teams that have not even been ranked. So uh, a little bit of not sure of a team. Uh, they, they do have a lot of transfers on their team. So uh, a lot of guys that kind of come and go, we know they'll certainly be athletic, they'll be fast. Uh, over on the defensive side of the ball, John, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I personally think they're a tough team. They're going to, you know, try to run the ball a lot. And based on stuff they did last year, you know, they got a couple of full backs. They play old school ball. Um, it's just really whoever comes out to play and whoever's a tougher team, in my opinion, for this game. So, okay. Offensively? Yeah, just looking up front, we know that their front seven is real physical. So we know that as, an, as a unit, as an offensive line, we want to be ready to set the tone and come out and punch them in the mouth on Saturday. Okay, speaking of Saturday, again, with that 6 p.m. kick, Really excited about that. Uh, there's so much going on for that game, including fireworks at the end. Uh, one of the things that we're really proud of as a football team is the money money that we are raising for versus cancer. You want to talk a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, for sure, Coach. Uh, last year, we were able to raise over $23,000 for versus cancer in partnership to help raise money for pediatric cancer. And this year, we're kind of going through our fundraiser, same as last year, and we're hoping to kind of rally to the cause and get a little more participation. Okay. Uh, we raised an awful lot of money that uh, last year and this year for some of you I know this would be really exciting news if we can get to over thirty thousand dollars Todd Newcomb has promised to shave his head as well so we're really I personally am really excited uh, to see that as well so anyway just to end the things off here wanted to thank you guys once again to all of you uh, that have supported us through thick and thin uh, hopefully we can get a lot of you guys out there for the first home game if we don't see you this Saturday in Christy Matthews Memorial Stadium hopefully we'll get a chance to touch base it's always great uh, whether you played at Bucknell or just a fan or a parent uh, we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you this season. Let's go Bison!